and what the drivers say they fear most of all is a head-on collision with a blind tube mare. Personally, I think the management should round them up. Get rid of them. What's up, you two? Hello. Um, so, I'm uh, continuing my series of reactions to uh, more modern stand-up comedians. Um, this is Ricky Gervais, who I have a strange feeling that I shouldn't like him as much as I do. Uh, it's like a guilty pleasure, you know, when people say that. Uh, I don't know why it is uh, that I feel I shouldn't like him as much as I do. I mean, The Office is amazing and he's done lots of other great stuff. He's clearly a good writer, very good actor. Uh, I think one of the reasons possibly is I, I, I saw a, an interview with Stuart Lee some time ago where he said that he had gone to see Ricky Gervais, uh, I think doing stand-up relatively earlier in early in his uh, career. Um, well, Ricky Gervais's career and, and Stuart Lee's probably. Uh, and he had said that he felt that Ricky Gervais was basically just doing him. Uh, just just uh, doing exactly the sort of stuff he does. I mean, I'm not sure if I've ever, I'm not sure if I can really see that quite. So I'll have a think about that while I'm watching this. But anyway, all that aside, this particular little routine of his I love. Uh, so let's dive right in and I'll see if I got, got anything uh, intelligent to say about it afterwards. I mean, I usually don't, but you never know, do you? It's the first time for everything. Okay, so let's uh, dive right in, shall we? Shall we? 37,000 different species of spider. 37,000 different species of spider. I mean, millions and billions of individuals in each species. And that's just one class, arachnid, of one phylum, Arthropoda. There could be five million species of animal alive now on the Earth. Best guess, okay? And that's 1% of all animal species that have ever existed. 99% of all animal species that ever existed are now extinct. And that remaining 1% is five million strong. Take one of those species, termites. If we were to weigh every termite alive now, it would be 10 times the tonnage of every human being on Earth. And it's statistics like that that make me think that this book isn't totally accurate. <laughs> um, it's the book of Noah. The children's edition. Um, I actually got this awarded to me when I used to go to Sunday school every week. I believed in all this till I was eight. Um, <laughs> St Agnes Sunday School, presented to Ricky Gervais, R I double K I, like a fucking mongoose, right? <laughs> for regular attendance, not even for being good at anything, just for turning up, right? <laughs> He's always here. Give him a prize. He'll be back. Thank you. Thank you. Let's have a look at the evidence. Long, long ago, when God first made the earth... I'll let both those points go. We haven't got time. Right. Long, long ago, by the way, according to the Bible, is 5,000 years. According to the Old Testament, the earth is no older than 5,000 years old. OK? It's actually 4.6 billion years old. Let's pop that in. Pop that. 4.6 billion years ago, when God first made the earth and sky... All right, don't big it up. It's like... It comes as a package, really, doesn't it? I mean... Do you know what I mean? The sky was never an optional extra. It's like, made you a planet. I can't breathe. Would you like an atmosphere? Of course I fucking would. So... Well done, but... Everything was peaceful. Everything beautiful. God made human beings, too. And he wanted them to be good, like himself. Arrogant. <laughs> but very soon they wanted their own way. They would not listen to God. They became wicked and did wicked things. Look at them doing wicked things there. <laughs> you don't get much more wicked than that, do you? Fuck off. Oh, fuck off, wicked. Really? <laughs> fuck off, wicked. Really? <laughs> ah. 
God just looking on. Oh, carry on. See what happens. See what happens. Oh, see what happens. Yeah. Oh, see what happens. <laughs> Bloke there running off with a big bag of money. Don't put it in a bank, you cunt. Uh, right. God looked at them <clears throat> and said to himself, they are so wicked, I will have to wipe them off the face of the earth. Really? <laughs> really? Straight to genocide. <laughs> what happened to one verbal and two written warnings? Stra <laughs> Straight to the annihilation of the entire human race because of fatty yellow trousers picked someone's <laughs> nose. Really? Fuck. Anger management, Matt. Just calm the fuck down. Let's chuck. Let's just chill. Let's talk about this. Wow. I read that to Carl Pilkington, right? Who is, yes. Yes. Head like a fucking orange, I know, yeah. And uh, I read that bit to him. They are so wicked, I'll have to wipe my face of the earth. And Carl said, he sounds gay. <laughs> I said, what, what do you mean? He went, some gays are a bit like that. He thought God was like having a hissy fit. Like he's like, no, they treat me like a bastard. I'm gonna treat them like a bastard. I'm gonna show them when I'm wife Mark. I said, Carl, God is not gay, okay? <laughs> Read the Bible, he hates them. <laughs> they are so wicked, I would have to wipe them off the face of the earth. And every living thing with them. What's the squid ever done? Red God has gone mad. What? But he's not gay. God is not gay. But there was one man who was still very good. His name was Noah. He was a friend of God. Just a friend, so don't know. <laughs> Just a friend. A friend with big hooped earrings. Rouge. <laughs> what? What's he doing? He lives in a cave. What's he doing with this? What? Oh, what? What are you doing? Seeing God. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Handlebar moustache. <laughs> Holding God's hand. Who's wearing a blouse? God is not gay. God said to Noah, I am so angry with men. You mean men and women? Whatever. I am so angry with men that I have made my mind up to destroy them all. I have stretched my bow in the sky. It is a rainbow. That's got to be the world's first pun, hasn't it? It will make so much rain pour down on earth that everything will be drowned, but not you. <laughs> I want you to build an ark. It must be like a big boat with three decks and a roof over it. Yeah, I know how to build a boat, mate. Oh, and you will make a door in the side of it. Do you think I'm a complete idiot? I know. Noah did exactly what God told him. And then God said to Noah, Now, okay, okay, now this is aimed at children, admittedly, but it's taken from the Old Testament story in the Bible. Um, but I don't think the author of this book is a zoologist. Um, uh, as we've said, there could be five million species of animal. I don't think he knows them all the way he backs out very quickly in this next sentence, okay? I want you to take two of every kind of animal with you into the ark. Two lions, two tigers, two elephants, and so on. <laughs> what? I've got lions, tigers, elephants, so on. <laughs> on you go. Look after them well and keep them alive. And Noah did what God said. Now I want you to study that scenario. Okay, so, God is angry with mankind, he's fed up with them, they're wicked, right? He's gonna wipe them out and just start again with Noah and his wife. 
He's angry with the animals too, for some reason. I don't... <laughs> so he's going to start again with just two of each species. He calls a flood, they build an ark. Now he goes, right, two of every species. Two, just two, right, quick, first two. Oh, there's a stampede. Two elephants. Two toucans. Just walking. It's no rush. Just strolling, baby. I think this one is a bit more concerned than this one. This one's probably going, should we fly? <laughs> nah. <laughs> no. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I could do this all night. <laughs> I mean, we, oh, we've got wings. <laughs> oh, we've got feet as well. <laughs> Why don't you want to push in? That elephant's looking at me funny. <laughs> yeah, I, I fucking am. <laughs> <laughs> if you try and push in, I'm going to stamp on you, you, you big-nosed twat. <laughs> Hold on, who are you calling big-nose? <laughs> what do you mean? No, just pot calling kettle black. What the fuck does that mean? What does pot... Well, you know, if a pot's... Black, I'll forget it. <laughs> I can't forget it, I'm a fucking elephant. <laughs> 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 oh, two camels, two lions, two ostriches, two leopards, two tigers, two zebra. Ah, here's the crux of my point. Just one species on the ark at the moment, the giraffes. They got their first longer legs, OK? Five million more species to, to get on there. So two of it. So two, two animals on the ark at the moment, ten million more animals to go. Ten million more of those, OK? 10 million, OK? As far as 10 million of them to get on there, just two on there at the moment. <laughs> Look how much room they're already taking up. <laughs> it's at a third capacity. <laughs> What's it going to be like on there when these two fat cunts get on? Then God bent the bow of his anger and the rain came flooding down, covering the earth with water. It rained for 40 days and nights. The flood water rose higher and higher until it covered the tops of the highest mountains. Every living thing was drowned except Noah and the animals in the ark. And the fish. <laughs> they were fine, weren't they? They were fine. They were loving it. They were better off. In fact, all the sea creatures. I mean, mountains underwater, their domain had increased like tenfold. Also, it's so much more interesting. You've got crabs going, I'm on a fucking mountain. This is amazing. I never want this flood to... I've never been up here before. I think of that when you see on the news, like if there's a little um, village in Gloucester flooded or something. And it's really sad. You see people, they've lost their homes and they're in dinghies and they're carrying their pets. And you see a little row of antique shops completely underwater. And I think of a fish just looking in the window of that antique shop for the first time. <laughs> so that's a chaise long. <laughs> for 150 days, the earth was covered with water. Then Noah opened the window of the ark and looked out. The water seemed to be going down, but how could he be sure? Well, ask God, you've been chatting to him all the way through. Why are we... <laughs> Why are we getting cryptic all of a sudden? He sent a raven out, but it soon came flying back. It could find nowhere to settle. Noah waited another week. Can he send out a dove? 
Why did the raven lose his job? <laughs> but the dove came back too. See, the raven wasn't bullshitting. This is... There was still no dry land anywhere. But one day the dove flew out and... Why did the dove get a second go and not the raven? <laughs> Racist. <laughs> OK, very good. Very childish, of course. But then it is a children's book. Uh, lovely. I've thought of a few more things. Um, my main point would be that you've got all those animals on the ark. Now, people always go on about the, the lions eating the zebras and things. That's a point as well. But also, just from the point of view of 40 days and nights, and only one of a pair of animals has to die, and that's it. No more, unless all the females were pregnant. Maybe that's what they did. They made sure the females were pregnant before they went on the ark. Then they'd need more food. That'd be a nightmare. Uh, they'll be complaining, oh, my back. Uh, so that's ridiculous. I mean, how would you keep five million sets of pairs alive for 40 days? One dies, one species gone. Uh, maybe there were 15 million animals and a lot of them died and they just became extinct. And I guess once your partner had died, you'd have to throw... You'd have to be thrown off the ship. It was a waste then. No point taking one animal, is there? Uh, and the other thing, of course, is kangaroos, uh, to name other, just one animal that uh, only is, is found in Australia. So Noah must have gone to Australia, picked up the kangaroos, put them on the ark, gone all the way back to the Middle East, um, or maybe... Maybe went to Australia, picked up the kangaroos, sailed around Australia a few times. When the waters came down, quickly popped them back on Australia with the echidnas and the platypuses and the wallabies. And then quickly went all the way back to the Middle East, which is something like 20,000 miles. Is that ridiculous? Uh, so, yeah, a few, few of my own points there. But, uh, yeah, Ricky Gervais, very good. Uh, some of it, I guess, isn't as funny as it could be, considering how good he is generally 